this is Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. I have a beautiful Mason and Hamlin from 1972. They only built just a few hundred pianos that year, so it's really great to have one to show for you today and to have the opportunity to play for you. Um, and this piano, we actually put new hammers and Abel Select are such great hammers. They're German hammers that are the perfect fit for pianos like this. Some of the great American pianos from years past, they not only have a gorgeous warm tone that is suitable for these instruments, but they also, the action weight is, is spot on. So it plays just beautifully. New key bushings and front rail bushings also give a precise feel to the keyboard. It's also been refinished with the multi layers of sprayed lacquer hand rubbed, just like it was in the factory. Everything has been regulated in voice. You got to hear this instrument. I'm going to start off with a little bit of Mozart. Uh, just a very condensed version of the Alaturka movement uh, sonata of Mozart. It's got that characteristic fat sound that Mason and Hamlin's are famous for. Um, I'd love for you to hear, though, the poetry that's possible, the really elegance to the sound by The Little Shepherd of Debussy, a very simple piece. You can really just hear the tone of the piano and listen for the sustain. This is the trademark of a truly great piano. There are so many aspects of the design of the Mason Hamlin pianos and the Model A specifically that make it a really a great choice for so many people. 
while this piano is only five eight, five inches, eight inches long, it has a sound of a full grand. There are many reasons for this. The wide tail allows for a bigger soundboard and just the massive case, the inner and outer rims are thicker hardwoods that really help the resonance of the soundboard along with a patented tension resonator system, which just keeps everything secure and keeps the crown of the soundboard longer than in pianos that don't have this technology. I'm gonna close now with the just a little brief interlude of the Chopin G minor, G minor Ballad. I love to play this little excerpt because it starts very loud and ends with poetry, so you get a real taste of the capabilities of the piano. With a great instrument like this, it encourages you to play slower, to savor the tone, instead of rushing to the next note before the tone fades away. Real pleasure to play this Mason and Hamlin. Once again, Robert at livingpianos.com, your online piano store, free delivery anywhere in the continental US. Thanks for joining me.